Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am very pleased that so many different representatives from uh, government are here today, along with our religious leaders and community leaders. And I'm particularly proud that um, uh, Council Member Mark Levine, um, who is chair of the Jewish Caucus, and I am also a member of that caucus, and I'm also chair, um, excuse me, I'm also a member of the Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus. So it's very important to note that as our caucuses in the city council, we are addressing this issue collectively um, and together and with a strong sense of unity. I really want to express uh, my prayers and my thoughts and my positive energy um, to the Lady Rosenblatt family. I was uh, devastated this morning to understand of this horrible incident that happened and that his mother is going to have to fly from Israel tomorrow um, to tend to the safety and the health and the well-being of her son. And this is certainly not the call that any mother wants to receive um, in terms of her son here in Brooklyn, New York. And we want to assure everyone that we are stepping up safety efforts in our community. And what I felt inspired by today was soon after members of the Crown Heights uh, community continued to go to 770 for prayer and for worship and to send a strong statement that their prayer and worship will not be stopped and that they are going to continue to work um, in service to the community. Um, another thing that I'm very happy about um, in all of this is that the unity that's going to come about. So as a result of today, this press conference is not simply a press conference, but we will be meeting um, with Project CARE and many other members in the community because it's going to be very important in the aftermath of this for us to continue to work together collectively. And I want to add at this time too that I'm very concerned in this community that we do not allow other individuals to sensationalize this situation and not to create situations where we are exploiting this situation for whatever reason. This is a very different case um, from the cases that we have seen nationwide. Um, this is an issue where the police had to show uh, restraint in this situation, but at the same time we are also not uh, using it as a footnote to say that um, the loss of 49-year-old Calvin Peters, who's also a husband and two children, our condolences go to that family as well, because they are going to have to deal with the ramifications um, of this serious illness that has plagued their family, and our condolences go to their family as well, too. But we have to make sure that as a community, that we recognize that our communities are hurting, and that we are going to move forward collectively and together. This also, as the public advocate stated, reiterates the fact that body cameras are important and the fact that we have these cameras show the community um, what actually happened. But I also implore people to make sure that we do not use cameras and video cameras in this new era for us all to turn into judge and jury in these situations. There is a full investigation that is going on and we implore the community to follow that investigation um, and to also respect that investigation while it is being undertaken at this particular time. Our thoughts and prayers again um, go to the entire family and the Crown Heights community and we really want to make sure that these types of incidents don't continue to happen and the importance of investing as our city has done in mental health services is going to be so critical moving forward. But it is important that we continue to not allow a situation like this to further divide the community but also to understand here that this was a very dangerous situation where uh, a gentleman had stabbed someone um, in the head and the police were entering a very dangerous situation um, and from what I could see, um, although I have not performed an investigation, it seemed that they had done their best to uh, contain the situation as best they could and to stop other individuals from being harmed. I thank you very much for coming today and let's continue to work together um, and talk together and communicate as a community and not allow these horrific incidents to divide our community. Thank you. Thank you.